In February, the Duke and Duchess were photographed at chat show host Ellen DeGeneres' vow renewal with wife Portia de Rossi an event that carried with it more than a whiff of the PR stunt, given that claims of a toxic work environment led to the downfall of DeGeneres' eponymous show. There for the ceremony were Chris Jenner, Paul Tro, Jennifer Aniston, Courtney Cox, Katy Perry, and Orlando Bloom. It was a rare starry moment for Harry and Meghan. In the lengthy interview that the Duchess of Sussex gave to New York magazines The Cut last year, it was also revealed that the duo has become close to 80s makeup entrepreneur Victoria Jackson. But we're not exactly talking about a household name here. So too have they previously been photographed out to dinner with Catherine McPhee and David Foster Hardley La Creme de La Creme of the entertainment world. As always smash the like button and subscribe to this channel, this way you won't miss our next video in this same channel. In March, Page Six made the point that the Duke and Duchess of Sussex were driving four hours to hang out in Hollywood. Then there is what has happened to their well-known, long-time friendships. Meghan would appear to have publicly cut ties with her former bestie Jessica Mulroney after Mulroney was accused of textbook white privilege by black blogger Sasha Exeter. Meanwhile, The Telegraph's Camilla Tomini recently painted a grim picture of Harry's relationship with his British mates. She has reported that many found themselves ghosted after the Duke's wedding and that patience appears to be wearing thin even among his most stalwart supporters. As one insider told Tomini, nobody really speaks to him anymore and even the people who have remained by his side have lately begun to fall away because he is so consistently negative. He's often complaining and rarely asks after others. When was the last time either of them was seen with any of their old compadres? Take Priyanka Chopra. She and Meghan were reported to have become close years ago after meeting at a Women in TV event with the actor a guest at their wedding. The following year, she defended the Duchess in an interview with The Times, saying, if there's anyone who can handle the press intrusion, it's her and what you see now is authentically her. She's always been the girl wanting to move the needle. Yet Chopra and Meghan have not been seen together for years. Or there are Royal Soapy supporting cast members George and Amal Clooney. They were both at the wedding, while in 2019, Amal also attended Meghan's controversial six-figure baby shower. That same year, George spoke out on a series of occasions defending the Duchess, describing her treatment by the press as a little unjust and unkind and saying she had been pursued and vilified. Have the Clunis been seen with the Sussexes since then? Indeed not. Nor have the Sussexes appeared at any of the star-studded events held by the couple's Clooney Foundation for Justice. In May this year, there were the ultra-glam Clunis, capped teeth on wide show, as they grinned for the cameras at an awards night for the Prince's Trust, the groundbreaking charity started by King Charles back in the 1970s. Earlier this year, a cache of letters from Diana, Princess of Wales to couple Susie and Tarek Qasim went on sale and they spell out how much she appreciated their friendship and support at a time when she was on the outs with the royal family. So who can or who will do the same for Harry and Meghan now? Having become estranged from both their fathers and all their siblings, with nobody really speaking to Harry anymore and with powerful voices who have previously spoken up for the couple having gone silent, who do they have left? Though now I think about it, making friends in your 30s and 40s and rebuilding your life would actually make a great podcast. Remember to subscribe to this channel and turn on the notification bell, this way you will be notified when next we drop a report video in this same channel.